Yo, what's going on guys, Slide Church here today, and back with yet another Arcane Odyssey video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking about grabs, but before we do, be sure to like and subscribe because I appreciate the support a crap ton. But yeah, grabs, let's talk about them. Now, in Arcane Odyssey, there is a crap ton of grabs, and they all have different ranges, they all do different things, and I'm going to list them out for you. So we have projectile grabs, which not many of you guys do know about. It's a very rare occurrence to see a projectile grab be thrown at you because they only come on hammers and axes. And not many people like these weapons because they are just not that popular. Next up, we have heavy grabs. Heavy grabs are commonly found on the musket, the hammer, you know, the axe, the halberd. You know, the very heavy, big weapons that, you know, they don't really take you far, but they do a crap ton of damage and they have a big hitbox if you're close to them. So it's very easy to land if you're up and close. Now, the next set of grabs I want to talk about are the precision grabs or the precise ones. The one that sends you really far, but they have a smaller size hitbox. So this would be like piercing strikes or knocking blitz, these types of grabs. They send you really far, but you know, the hitbox is usually on the smaller end and they deal moderate damage and have some knockback. They're, they're really good though. Last but not least is the mage grab. Now this grab is very unique compared to every other grab as it is pretty much like a big range around you or like in a cone in front of you. Just know that this grab is very versatile and its main purpose is to get things off of you since the mage class is a zoning type of class. You're mainly spacing so if something gets close to you, you use this grab to get them away from you. It has a crap ton of knockback and it's really good for this. Now in PvE, if you haven't noticed, all of these grabs do damage but it doesn't actually put any of the bosses in the grab sequence. But if it's a regular NPC, it will put them in the grab sequence. Yeah, I recommend using any of these grabs against bosses because they're really good. Uh, except for snare for some reason if you were to land snare on a boss you would still be put in the end lag it's a little weird but yeah do not use snare on bosses it is not recommended towards anyone but yes use these grabs if you're doing boss fights because they are really good now let's talk about the more technical stuff when it comes to grabs what do grabs skill with now grabs do not skill with attack speed they don't make you go any further if you have attack speed although they should and i'm going to make a suggestion on that um grabs do skill with attack size now if you have an attack size build and you are using grabs you'll grab people further than you really should be grabbing them which is kind of funny but it's also pretty cool so say i have a musket which is a big hitbox in front of you but it doesn't go that much distance if you were to get an attack size build on a grab now what's going to end up happening is that you're going to grab them without even looking at them sometimes it's a it's pretty strong and pretty powerful i'd say with that being said i'm going to show you guys the the most extreme case of a grab being very strong here and that is actually in the warlord build category now if you do go warlord and you do get the lance from argos you'll be able to actually imbued your weapon with a fighting style right now if you don't know what imbuements do they pretty much give you a size buff and also imbue gives you whatever your stats of your fighting style is onto the weapon so you can get an innate size buff plus another size buff Right. So say you go Sailor's Fist and you have maxi water energy, your grab range is going to be so huge, it'll be unimaginable. Same if you were to imbue with Iron Leg as well, and I'm going to show you guys what exactly that looks like. Right. As you can see here, I have my NPC, and look, I don't even have to aim at him to actually grab him. That's how big the hitbox is for this thing. Now I'm going to show you exactly what the stats are on this specific you know, build, so you know exactly how big I'm actually making this grab. But yeah, here it is. I am using attack size and full sunken as well as a bursting weapon. So all you really need is 140 plus attack size. You don't need a 176. I just threw shit together so I can like, you know, just show you how big it can actually get. This build can definitely be optimized. So yeah, put size and use grabs and you'll be well off, trust. 